trying to start on an upbeat. Oh. I just got done with the dentist. Hopefully my last dentist appointment for at least six months. I am not going in for a three month cleaning. <laughs> I am done with the dentist. You guys and our bill and our pocketbook are done with the dentist. I just got two crowns put on. It's usually so easy. Go in, clean it out, cement it in, done. For whatever reason, the second one was not going in. Man, and they have to like keep cleaning it out with water and I'm super sensitive. And so it's like shooting pain and throbbing pain all up in the upper side of my teeth. Every time and I had to clean it out and use water. And then he like got them in, he got both of them in and he was kind of doing a test run or whatever and it was just kind of catching. But he was using floss to try and like kind of knock them into place. And I think he cut my gum. I think he like legit cut, like sliced my gum. Cause I said that it was like bleeding everywhere and it was killing. And so then they had to like, when that was when they were trying to get the first one cemented in. So it was bleeding everywhere. And so they wanted to make sure that the cement would hold. And so they had to like pause and let the bleeding stop. Man, I need, I'm trying to like compose myself so I can drive home. Cause that was a little traumatic. And he understood, he, he understood he was like making it traumatic and he felt bad. Oh, man. I'm I'm, my tooth is, is throbbing and it shouldn't hurt to put the, the, the crown in. You're not doing actual dental work. Oh, it just hurts so bad. But I'm gonna head home. Told Kaylee and Abby I would probably get them Little Caesars pizza. They're probably gonna have start having more and more friends come over today. They are done with their finals today. They have, I think they each have one or two more tomorrow and then they're done with school. And so I don't have time tomorrow to let them decomp decompress at home because <laughs> we have a busy we have a busy schedule tomorrow, but um, today it's pretty open until tonight. And now I can tell you what Jason and I are going to do. That's kind of an upbeat thing. We are going to a Sounders game. We're going to a soccer game over in Seattle. I've never ever been to one. I've actually only been to a Mariners baseball game before in Seattle. Never been to a Seahawks game. If anyone wants to buy me tickets to go to a Seahawks game, maybe, maybe this year I'll actually want to go. I don't know, but we are going to the Sounders game. Our our employee gave us tickets. She either didn't want to go tonight or couldn't go or just wanted to gift it to us. I'm not really sure. So we are going to do that. And Jason says that the tickets are, or the seats are up front. They're like right behind the team. So I don't know how she got those tickets. I don't know, but it might be cold and rainy. I don't know if it's covered. I don't know. I'm trying to like prepare myself for really crappy cold weather, but it might be a really fun game too. So it's kind of a fun experience. We are under no obligation to stay if we're miserable, obviously. We don't, we're not diehard Sounders fans. We do have to take the bus down there because there's also a Mariners game tomorrow, tonight as well. So I'm not gonna mess with traffic and parking and all that kind of jazz. I have put him in charge of trying to find a bus schedule and getting ourselves over there. We've done it before for concert and it works out really, really well. So I think I've decompressed enough. Let's go home. Just when I got everyone excited for Little Caesars, they're closed. And the only good thing about that is that Crumble Cookies is going in in its place. And it's a whole lot closer to where we live than the other Crumble Cookie that we usually have to go to. Like half the distance, more than half the distance. But it means there's no Little Caesars pizza. And I just wanted my $7 pizza. I think it's actually $8 now. <laughs> We don't have $5 pizza. I don't know where Little Caesars pizza is actually still $5. But I just called Costco pizza and they are making two pepperoni pizzas for me and I will go and pick it up. <laughs> Can't win. As soon as I had pizza in my head and the teenagers had pizza in their head, they like, bring home pizza. Plus, it'll be dinner tonight when we're gone. So, win-win. Hi, I am all caught up with my videos. Edited as much as I can up to this video right here. And so I'm going to start getting ready to go tonight. I'm gonna get my coat. It's going to feel really cold when I'm just sitting there. So I've got this coat. I would be plenty warm in that one. And then I'm gonna go put pants on because yes, I'm wearing shorts. You can't tell maybe. <laughs> I'm just determined that it's summertime, so I should be wearing shorts, even though I'm freezing cold often. <laughs> also, I think Abby's asleep, so I'm gonna be quiet. You're not asleep, though. 
You're doing good? Yeah. One more day of school. Got your yearbook today? Fun, huh? Yes. Got friends to sign it? Yeah, a bunch of friends. Like Fun. Almost every single period except for math. <laughs> good. We had a test. Good. Now, are you all packed? I have your suitcase in my room, but you're all packed? You have everything you need? Yeah. Do you know what outfit you're going to wear in the car? Okay, pick, make sure you have one that you can wear in the car. And then you pick a cozy. You can take like one of the, your Minnie Mouse. Which one? Oh, well, that, well then I need to wash this stuff down here. No, you're going to take it. You were supposed to take that Saturday. Listen, that's Ashley. Okay, fair enough. Can you get this stuff taken downstairs then? And I'll have her carry that down. And then you can take one Squishmallow in the car for your pillow or a pillow, okay? Looks like Abby got the massager out. Poor thing. I had it all packed to take with us, but she's obviously needing it today. Um, then I've got Chelsea and Ashley's bag packed here. And I am going to take towels because I am hopeful we can maybe swim while we're there. This is my bag. This is Jason's mess. <laughs> He's got it packed better than that. These are our dresses. I'm kind of hoping we can go a little bit early. I want to go and see if I can find a, another tie for him. This is not the color of the wedding at all. And he could use a new tie anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and take three dresses. Oops, dropped one. I'm going to try and go get like a little... What do you call it? The dry cleaner bag or even just a garbage bag and hang over these and hang them in the car because I don't want to have to iron them. In fact, I need to take this one down and iron that one. I'm not sold on this one. I need to see what this one looks like with my little shapewear tank top underneath it and see. Um, I might just wear this one for both nights. We'll see. I don't know. All right, since we don't go to concerts or games very often, I'm not too accustomed to taking just one little pouch with me. Whoops. So I had to re redo my little pouch here. I've got um, some, it says Tylenol, but there's actually ibuprofen in there. And then I've got mints and a battery for my camera that I'm holding, some sanitizer, my credit card right there. I'm not gonna show you the number. And then I have some sunglasses, if by chance it's sunny, which actually is a little sunny right now. And then I have a little chapstick. This isn't my favorite kind, but my big ball one won't fit in here. And then I have a ponytail and a Sharpie, just randomly, because that's what's in this pouch already. So I'm just going to seal this up. Then I have an inside pocket on my jacket. So here's the outside. I don't want to stick it in that one. I'm not trying to hide it. You can take something in this size, but I'm going to stick it in the inside one and let it lay down the long way in the bottom so that it fits along that side because I can't feel it within when I have my jacket on and I can just keep the bottom part of my jacket hang, hung okay, down. Though. We are off to go to the Sounders game. We're gonna make one quick stop at Target. It's going to be 96 degrees and humidity, dry humidity is gonna make it feel like a lot hotter than that when we go down to my sister's wedding. You think it'll be humid? It's, like it's dry present. humid. It's just, it feels it's hotter. It's the opposite of each other. It just, trust me, it's just hot. <laughs> it, it's gonna feel hotter than 96. It is hot, it is hot. Stop making fun. I'm not making I'm fun. I'm gonna prepare him and then he's gonna be like, oh, you were right, so stop mocking uh, we've me been now. To this, we've been there many, many times. It's not like the first time we've been. We haven't had a 40 degree temperature change before. Probably not. No, probably not. So just trust me and not complain about it now because we have to run to Target and get you a shirt. It's not gonna make you die. Okay. Okay, listen to your wife. When am I wrong? Not very I, often. I, I, I'm not arguing the shirt or anything. I'm just saying dry humidity is sort of. It's dry heat. Is, no, it sucks all the moisture out of you. We come from a very moist. Oh, I state. understand. Okay, yes, yeah, so that makes sense. It's dry, a, but, it yeah. literally, like you, the second we get to Idaho, my my feet will literally crack. You gotta start like hydrating and everything. I know it's a pain. It's in the butt. awful. It's, it's awful. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna run to Target really quick. I want him to get a new tie, and I should have just gotten it for Father's Day because then he couldn't argue with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right, but I also want to get a short sleeve button up collared shirt for the second night um, for the reception in our hometown um, because I just know that he's not gonna want to wear the long sleeve white button up shirt that you have packed. And the Hawaiian shirt is a little 
overkill. It's the only other dressy, like short sleeve shirt that you have. It's a little, a little much. Just wear a polo shirt. No, you can't. No, you can't. I'm not. I'm like. I'm like the. You're not in the wedding. Mom. I know that, but I want you to look nice. Relevant person. Well, I appreciate you wanting me to look nice. I don't want you looking like you're going to work. You wear the polo and still go to work. I look nice going to work. Okay, I'm done with him. You guys can have him. So <laughs> these are <laughs> choices so this far. Yeah, that's not where we're going for. So here's some dress shirts, but I think they're probably long sleeve. I don't even know that they would. I don't, I don't know. know. That other blue. Pattern. Here's our tie choices. Pattern with the, uh, with the. Uh, Stripes. What shirt are you talking about wearing? That one. The one you haven't worn before? No, the purple I one? Oh. Which that one? You're not wearing the other one you're thinking of. Mm -mm, the white the, one? With like blue stripes like thing or something? I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't get dressed up very often. It's kind of like this. Oh. Hmm. And you could do that, and then, although I don't know about If it's color. like that, I like that. Yeah, that's... That's kind of cool. Yeah, but my stripes aren't green. They're blue. Well, these aren't either. These are black. Oh. Okay, here's some here. What? I don't know. That's not... No, I might as well wear the These are like vacation. Shirt. Yeah. They're really cool, though. I do like that one. Oh, come on. You can't wear that to the wedding. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's a cool shirt. Um... This is a little too casual. And no, you will never ever <laughs> wear that one. All right, I think I found one. It's kind of nice. He doesn't need to wear a tie with this one. Just tuck it in. I think that'll look nice. Got some strangers here at Target. That taco blanket's not leaving the house again, my friend. Chelsea Marie. I'm gonna go hunt her down, hunt down the taco. Don't wear the taco again. Bye. All right, so we did not get the shirt. It just looked a little too casual. Actually, the one we wanted wasn't in his size. Oh, that's not my car. No, we got my car. Sorry. We got to go find my car. <laughs> I literally. No, that is my car. That's why oh, I went to it. <laughs> <laughs> that is my car, but Kaylee has it. That's so funny. <laughs> I instantly went to that car. I was like, okay, there's our car. But we brought his car. So, that was funny. Yeah, we just ran into Kaylee and Chelsea and her friend Veronica. And they're just bored because Jacob is at the Mariners game tonight. So he isn't hanging out with them. So that's kind of funny that I instinctively went to my own car. <laughs> just waiting for my gentleman to open my door for me. Nope, I just opened my own door. I'm literally hating that I'm wearing actual shoes and I don't like wearing tennis shoes with jeans. This is like my worst nightmare. I hate doing this, but it's gonna be more comfortable this way. But I'm really uncomfortable wearing it this way. So because we didn't know how long it would take to try and find a shirt for him, we have a little time to kill. It's a little noisy. Um, so we're gonna go get a drink. I'm trying to finish my water here. I'm not gonna take it in. Maybe a slushy or something? That's what I was thinking. All right. Well, he'll get one. I'll get a Coke. <laughs> All right, so um, we've been hanging out here in the parking lot waiting a minute to get on the bus. And a friend of ours from church just um, got off the bus coming home from work. Hang on right here for a second. And he's like, oh, you guys, you know, where are you going? And we told him, and he's like, oh, well, here, just take my card. <laughs> he's like, here's my bus pass. Just go and scan it twice and it'll get you on the bus and anyway he knew exactly what bus we needed to take to get downtown and well we did too but anyway that was nice of him it was really nice yeah. so um i actually hope it gets a little bit colder because it will, it will. It will. <laughs> i'm kind of hot right now but um this is gonna be kind of fun we've never see they're going to the game yeah i have a scarf i should have got my scarf oh you're a loser you do have a, so a sounder a sounder scarf <sighs> Uh, you have one. I did bring it. Oh well. I forgot my phone. So Jason's running back to the car. It was charging. I was being stupid. I was watching TikTok while I was charging my phone. But then the car was turned off. So then I was just depleting my phone. And so I needed to charge it for a little bit longer. Um, stinks. 
someone's smoking. Ugh. Get out just some fresh air here. And I don't know what the gate to go in. We yep. go up and ask someone, which was. Yeah, we did. We he asked. asked for directions. And the guy's like, well, it says right here, it says Southwest Gate. No, I said, I looked at it and I said, oh, Southwest Gate is gone. That's but on the what, other side. At what point did you look at it the five other times and not see Southwest Gate? That's the first time I've seen it. I looked at it for the first time and saw it the first time. Well, maybe you should be in charge of this then if you're so good at it. I'm always in charge of everything. There you go. I gave you control for one minute. Kaylee went and got Chelsea. I had to make sure Ashley ate dinner. I had to make sure Ashley went to bed. I had to plan a play date with her. Anyway, but Sounders won. It was a great game. And it was perfect weather. Yeah, it was not cool. cold at all. In fact, I never even put my coat on. But if I hadn't brought it, it would have been freezing and raining. Right? Yeah. So the score was 4 0. 4 0. Sorry. They scored while we were in the bathroom leaving early. So, four. Look at that. So cool. Let me get a full shot of it. This is where we saw you two in concert. Oh. We're the early birds trying to catch the bus. Get back home to our chitlins. But, that was a fun game. Yeah. And it's not even a late night out. <laughs> so, we have a full day tomorrow. Kaylee is getting an award at school. And so, Ashley is going to come with us 
at the bright early hour of 8 a.m. Go and see what award Kaylee's gonna get. None of us know. And uh, then I'll take Ashley to school and he'll go to work. So, well, unless anything exciting happens between now and when we go to bed, we had a great day. Thanks for joining us. And we'll see you guys next time. This is where my heart is Oh, you know it's true No matter where I go I'm coming home to you